this segment, I'll show you how to install Z-Mesh heating element material for roof de-icing applications. Great care must be taken to make sure that the element is shielded from moisture. Fasteners must never penetrate simultaneously through the Z-Mesh element and any metal including valley metal, metal drip edge, metal flashings, or other electrically conductive material. Z-Mesh is not recommended under metal roofs, valley metal, metal drip edge, or metal flashing. It is very important to lay out the heating element runs either on paper or on the area to be heated prior to installation. A detailed layout will result in a superior installation. For snow melt applications, the Z-Mesh is designed to be installed with a 2 inch space between runs for maximum efficiency. To ensure an effective radiant heating system, it is crucial to install the proper length of heating element. This information can be found in the System Operating Table section of the Heat is on Installation Manual. Knowing the heating element spacing and the maximum and minimum allowable length, the layout can begin. Determine where the Z-Mesh runs will begin. At this point, there will be a connection between the Z-Mesh and cold lead. This connection is made with a transition plate. From this point, lay out the pattern for the Z-Mesh heating element, creating a continuous loop that never crosses or touches itself. Be sure to keep the appropriate spacing between the heating element runs. Heat is on recommends that the Z-Mesh be installed 1 inch up from the roof's edge and 1 inch from the center of the valleys. When finished with the layout, the heating element should have an even number of runs. Parallel runs are achieved by making two 90 degree folds in the Z-Mesh. Once the layout is complete, make an exact measurement of the heating element layout lines to verify that the proper length of Z-Mesh will be installed. On the wood roof deck, install a layer of ice and water shield in all locations where the Z-Mesh will be installed. If installing the Z-Mesh on a metal drip edge, install a double layer of single ply membrane over the drip edge that will be covered with Z-Mesh later. This membrane will act as a separator between the Z-Mesh and the metal drip edge. Connect the end of the Z-Mesh roll to a transition plate and then connect the transition plate to one of the cold leads that were run previously. Please refer to the connection section. After the connections have been made, attach the transition plate securely to the roof. Install the Z-Mesh following the layout performed earlier. When installing the Z-Mesh on a wood roof deck, attach the Z-Mesh using staples at the base of each fold. Be sure that the staples don't come in contact with any electrically conductive material, and be careful not to tear the Z-Mesh while installing staples. Roll the Z-Mesh heating element out, making two 90 degree folds at each end to make parallel runs. Remember to keep the appropriate spacing between runs and make a continuous loop back to the second cold lead. To install Z-Mesh in a valley, make a 90 degree fold and run the Z-Mesh up the valley keeping it 1 inch away from the center. Temporarily tack the Z-Mesh in place until the entire zone is laid out. To make a parallel run on the other side of the valley, make two 90 degree folds and install the Z-Mesh as before keeping it 1 inch from the center of the valley. Remember Z-Mesh cannot be installed under valley metal or metal roofing material. With the Z-Mesh laid out, verify that the proper length has been installed. With the proper length of Z-Mesh installed, carefully increase the folds in the Z-Mesh and staple along the fold's outer edge. Attach the Z-Mesh runs to the roof using two staples along the outer edges of the Z-Mesh every 18 inches. With the Z-Mesh installed and length verified, make the connection between the second cold lead and the second transition plate. With the cold lead connected, place the transition plate in the proper location on the roof and cut the Z-Mesh to the appropriate length. Then make the Z-Mesh to transition plate connection. Please refer to the connection section. When the transition plate cools, secure it to the roof. Form a continuity check between the cold lead and a good ground. 
Also perform a continuity check between the Z-Mesh and any metal around the Z-Mesh system, including drip edge, metal flashing, and any other electrically conductive material. If there is continuity between the cold lead and the ground, and or other metal, then the short must be found before proceeding with the rest of the system installation. With the system free of any shorts, complete the after element installation test, which can be found in the Heat is On installation manual. Fill out the after element installation test form completely. After performing all the system tests and verifying that no shorts exist, cover the Z-Mesh with a layer of ice and water shield. Ice and water shield or EPDM must be installed over Z-Mesh and if desired may be installed under Z-Mesh as well. Installer needs to provide a heat is on roof alarm to the roofing contractor that will be used to detect for shorts while the roofing material is being installed. After the roofing material has been installed, repeat element test and compare results. If shorts are found, they will need to be cleared before operating the system. The heat is on element test is a crucial step in the installation process. The test will ensure that a third party or an unknown event has not adversely impacted the heating element after the initial installation. In addition, the results may help in any troubleshooting that must be performed on the system. This completes the element installation.